My name is Jenny Stevens and I'm the team librarian at one of the three NPL locations. Today I'm going to show you how to make toilet paper tube art. Like so. The three things you're going to need today are going to be toilet paper or in my case paper towel tubes, scissors to trim them, and hot glue gun to adhere them together. Now toilet paper and paper towel tubes typically come brown. If you don't have paint, that's totally fine. The brown will work. But if you do have paint, I highly recommend coloring them just to give it a little bit more of a pop. I just use simple acrylic paint and one coat on these and it works just fine. The basic building block I'm going to show you today is the flower. So you can see I use both purple and green to make this shape, whereas on the blue here, I just use blue. So if you only have one color of paint, it will definitely work. Once you've finished painting your tubes, you're going to start cutting them. That's what you're gonna need the scissors for. Now, when you pick your toilet paper or paper towel tubes, I recommend shooting for the thinner cardboard. There are some that are weirdly thick that make it almost impossible to cut and it's just gonna be a pain in the butt for you. Once you decide which one you're going to start with, go ahead and kind of flatten it out. That way you're not fighting against the shape of the tube as well as the cardboard. Now, cutting them, you want them to be approximately the same size. I aim for between an inch and a half an inch, depending on how thick you want your art to be. I'm just eyeballing it, but if you feel better measuring the ruler and marking it with a pencil, you won't be able to see it in the final product. To make this basic building block of a flower, you're going to need five of the petal shapes and one green to make the leaf. If you don't have green or don't want to add a leaf, you're just going to need those five petals. Now, because of the shape of the towel tube and the way it cuts, they're going to come out kind of looking very long leaf shaped, which is fine for my leaf shape, but as you can see, I kind of puffed out the petals so they have a slightly different shape in addition to a different color from the leaves. Once you've cut enough, I recommend arranging everything and seeing how it looks before you move on to gluing it. So as you can see, I laid out five and now I kind of want to puff them up a bit to see if they'll still all fit together and where I want to put my leaf. So I've got my petals all arranged and now I'm going to take a green and just kind of tuck it in, see what it looks like, reevaluate as needed. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to start piecing them together using the hot glue. All I'm going to do is lay a simple inch long piece of the hot glue and then push it together with another petal. Now you want to be careful because the hot glue is well hot and it can seep through the cardboard. So just be careful and know that the cardboard doesn't completely protect you from that heat. I'm gonna keep doing this for all five of the petals. Kind of being mindful that, of how many petals I have left to make sure they're spaced properly. That's why it's helpful to lay it out first so you can get a sense for what it'll look like. Now that last petal you're going to put in is always going to be the trickiest, um, but don't worry if you mess up a little bit or if the petals are too fat. Because it's cardboard, you can easily kind of squish them down to make room for that final petal. Now for the final one, I do recommend putting two strips of glue on each side of where that last petal will rest. And once again, you kind of pinch it between the two. So there is my flower shape. It's a little funky looking here, but I'll show you an easy way to cover it. Next, I'm going to grab one of my leaves and I'm going to leave it this kind of sharper shape to make it look a little bit different from the petals. Now, because we're already crowded for space between these two, I don't want to put the leaf there. So I'm going to play around with it again. It's totally fine to keep going back to the drawing board and reevaluating. I kind of like where it is here, so I'm going to decide on there. Just like the last petal, I'm going to have you put glue on each side of where this leaf is resting, just so it's doubly secure. Once again, feel free to pinch as needed. 
Now you'll also note, I don't know if you can see it from home that easily, there's this little stray curl in my leaf that's really thrown off my whole design. So I'm just gonna take a smidge of glue and fix that. It's the benefit to having tools of the trade lying around. And just fix it so it doesn't look kind of funky anymore. Now I said we're gonna circle back and find a way to fix this. If you have printer paper, construction paper lying around, just cut out a circle and make the petal center. Now the way I'm going to adhere this, it's just a single circle I cut out. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, just brushing it with a glue gun almost, all around the middle. And I'm going to take my center, just kind of tap it in. Once again, the heat can sink through that petal, so I'm not going to hold on to it too long. But that way it kind of hides that funky back like so if you don't have a center that's okay too it still looks cool without one um since i was going for a floral feel i really did want that center once you have these building blocks complete you can see how i laid it out and glued them all together in a circle just like i laid out each individual petal once i had all my flowers done i laid them out on the table to see how it would work so I could tell where to apply each petal so it completed the circle. For these purple and green flowers, I wanna do more of a garland or a straight shot to do above my mirror. So I'm just going to glue them together at the center. Once again, I'm kind of straddling the two petals so there's glue on each side just to add an extra layer of adhesion. Like so. I'm going to continue making these floral building blocks and just keep going straight as a garland. Now today I showed you the very simple basics of crafting with toilet paper tube to make those wall garlands, but please feel free to be inspired. Poke around the internet. There's thousands and millions of pictures of people doing this. There's different inspiration you can do if you don't wanna do flower. There's some abstract designs you can play with. Bottom line is, I hope this craft, A, you have the materials at home since I tried to pick some very easy, accessible ones, and that you have fun and get creative making these. Have a great day.